Hi guys, so it's finally time for my um, Q&A video. So I don't know how long this will be. Uh, I got a list of um, a lot of questions and it's like not even all uh, the questions that I got. I got quite a lot of questions, but uh, I managed to pick some that I really wanted to answer and I might just make like different parts um, like part one and part two uh, hopefully not part uh, three but yeah um, first off I just wanted to show you guys one thing that I have Ta -da! Uh, it looks a little bit weird but this is my cactus and I actually have a thing for cactus um, plants um, they're really cute and this one has flowers on it it's really really pretty yeah so that was a bit random but <laughs> uh, I really wanted to show you guys it because it's really pretty um, but yeah so to the questions I might just you know look down um, in my phone sometimes because I have uh, both the questions and some um, answers I try to answer them uh, in advance so that I wouldn't sit and think for like five minutes before I answer um, anyway, let's start. Uh, the first question is, what other groups do you listen to other than Exxon SS51 and who are your biases? So, um, I listen to a lot of different groups, but mainly Exxon and SS51. Um, so I like uh, TVXQ and JYJ, um, and I also like BTS. Block B, BAP, Infinite Beast, um, Super Junior, 21, The Boss, um, who else? Uh, I, I listen to a lot of different groups, but usually it's just the like, title song. I, uh, if it is a group that I kind of didn't mention, um, I usually just look uh, listen to their title songs but uh, for the groups that I mentioned I also go through their new albums whenever there's a new release and yeah uh, so those were some of the uh, groups that I like and uh, my biases I don't have biases in all of these groups but in Beast for example it's Hyunsung uh, and in in uh, JOJ it's Junsu but mostly because I like his um, uh, his music style I like it a lot uh, it's quite similar to mine uh, when it comes to his ballads and in hmm, BAP I like Yongjae um, and in Infinite I like uh, Myungsu uh, the most but also I also like Song Jung yes Oh my god, this video is going to be very long. Um, so, next question is, what, uh, where, where do you buy your albums and merch? And can you share your experience with shopping from them? So, I actually have a K-pop online store review on my Tumblr blog. So, I'll post the link down below in the description box so you can read um, the full detailed uh, version of this short answer but yeah i'm uh buying from dvd heaven k-pop town k-pop mart and yes asia and also ebay and sometimes k-star goods uh, but my favorites are dvd heaven and the k-pop uh, k-pop town um, but my absolute favorite is dvd heaven because they they provide such a good uh, service and I really like how they package all their stuff uh, always in a cardboard box with a lot of uh, protective bubble wrap so yeah um, and they're they're also one of the cheapest one uh, in my opinion uh, depending on how much you uh, you buy next question is uh, can you show us your most prized Excel possession and I actually didn't know if I had one, but uh, I guess the most expensive one 
one of the most expen expensive things that I have is my Chris Mama version A card, the Korean press one. Uh, it's in my binder. I I'm too lazy to pick it out, but I consider it as one of my most prized items because it's so rare and very expensive. Uh, though I managed to like trade him, uh, trade for him. So yeah, it didn't cost me as much as it would have if I decided to get it um, in another way. How did you know about K-pop and what was your first song slash group? Um, I started to hear a lot of K-pop um, mid-2009, around, yeah. Uh, so uh, one of the first songs that I heard was Super Junior's Sorry Sorry. I started to listen to more Super Junior songs and I guess I became a fan. I still am a fan, but uh, it wasn't before I started to watch um, Korean dramas and I started to watch Boys Over Flowers and through that drama um, I uh, I got to learn about Hyunjoon and through him I got to learn about Doublesfy1 and that's when I really fell in love with K-pop so uh, I guess it was late 2009 that I really started to like K-pop and uh, the first groups that I liked were um, Super Junior and Doubles Fi One, but it was uh, obviously Doubles Fi One who made me stay, um, yeah, and experience a lot of different groups and such. Yeah, whose concert have you seen? So I only been to two concerts in my whole life, I think, like that I really enjoyed. And it's um, Vic's concert that was in November last year here in Stockholm, Sweden. And the second concert that I attended was Park Jung Min's um, tour, uh, concert in Paris that I went to just recently. So yeah, I've only been to two different uh, concerts and I don't really know if you can, can consider it as concerts. It's more like showcases or something like that, like a mini concert, but yeah, uh, those are the ones that I have uh, attended. Next question is, where do you live and where were you born in Sweden or did you move there uh, at a very young age? Like it says in the second question, um, I live in Sweden. Sweden is in Europe, it's a Scandinavian country uh, north of Europe. I was actually born here in Sweden, so my parents moved here at around my age, um, slightly older, and then a few years after they got me, and the year after that they got my sister. I consider myself as a Swedish uh, person as well, but I also consider myself as a, an Asian as well, uh, so yeah. How long have you been collecting albums and which album was your first K-pop album? So, um, I bought my first K-pop album um, in 2009. So my first K-pop album that I got was the um, S by One Rebirth album, the limited one. And I guess I've been collecting ever since then, only that... Um, I actually started collecting for real, like a, tr a true collector, uh, when I started sort of opening uh, this K-pop uh, YouTube channel. Um, yeah, that was year, I think it was mid-2011, so I started to, you know, buy a lot of albums by then and uh, at that time. and. Then I eventually opened my channel during 2012. So yeah, I've been collecting for around uh, two years or so, like for real. Uh, <laughs> and then only last year I decided to only focus on 
Douglas Fiwan and, and Pixar. The next question is, is K-pop popular at your school? Um, there's a problem with this question uh, because I don't really know since I'm a university student so there are quite a lot of people there at university at the university um, but um, my guesses are that uh, it's not that popular just because there isn't enough of exposure um, to this um, music uh, K-pop is very very limited and not not a lot of people know about it um, it's a subculture here in Sweden like a very small subculture but it's growing and more and more people you know, know about it but I can't really say that it's popular because there aren't that many that actually know about K-pop so yeah how often do you go online to see if there is new K-pop items that you want to buy? Uh, <laughs> this question, um, I actually go online every day and uh, I basically check the different online shops every day for new stuff. Uh, it's mainly because of habits, since I've been doing it quite a lot, I tend to check the online shops every day um, yeah so it's quite weird of me what's the most difficult thing when you film your unboxing videos uh, so the major problem that I have is to have good uh, lightning or you know uh, the light in my room is really it's not that bad but my camera I can't really film it when it's dark I'm mainly trying to feel when when there is some light outside and yeah because my lamp isn't good enough <laughs> what's your exo bios list okay uh, <laughs> the thing is having a, a bias list in exo uh, of exo is really difficult I kind of wanted to make this a separate video but I will answer try to answer this shortly but like I said it's really hard and difficult to manage to have one um, solid uh, bias list because I tend to you know sometimes I like some members more and then it goes like up and down and uh, well the number one person that I like is obviously Chris and he will obviously also remain as uh, my ultimate bias but then I also like um, I guess on second place I like Min So and Jung De and on third place it would be Tao and Suo so um, and then I kind of have started to uh, getting interested in uh, Baekhyun so I guess he's around the middle I also like Kyungsu from previous um, faces I guess uh, but yeah basically the ones that I collect right now like photo cards are my biases and the rest is like in one giant lump of I, I'm not too sure how I would actually place them all. But yeah, so we have Chris, and then we have uh, Jongde and Minsop, and then we have Suo and Tao. Those are my five biases. And then we have the rest that kind of, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah. What do you think your life would be uh, without K-pop? Um, that's kind of easy actually.